Lemon. Hey, sister! How's the leg? You are a piece of work. These crutches are real, everyone. Liz tried to kill me. What are you talking about? Oh, please. You saw the harness and you didn't do anything. T minus 10 minutes. Be quiet. All Tracy's coming. Are go for launch. Star Wars. <laughs> Do you remember when I filmed that movie version of the Mystic Pizza musical? Do I? I don't. Well, the NY City Critics Association just sent me this. Best actress in a movie based on a musical based on a movie. Hey, that's great. OK, enough! How long are we going to talk about this stupid award? We have more important things to worry about. Like, where are the french fries I did not ask for? You guys need to anticipate me. OK, forget it. I can't rehearse today. One of those weeks. Oh no, I talked to him last time when he wanted to change his name to Wise Greasy Bastard. Oh, monsters, why did I create you? It was very simple. I asked you two to host NBC's live coverage of the St. Patrick's Day Parade, read from the cue cards, promote the show. So would you please explain to Mr. O'Cannon here why it went so very wrong? Sir, as I'm sure you know from reading my blog, I'm currently shooting a feature film inspired by, but for legal reasons, not based on Janis Joplin. Synonyms, just another word for the word you want to use. We can't sing the original songs, but it's going to be phenomenal. But, you know, between filming the movie at night and working here during the day, I am so exhausted, sir. So when I got to the parade... That's no excuse, ye banshee. You and this gravy face have slarnied up a real Donnybrook. Here comes the county court steppers. Their traditional dance celebrates the spirit and the ingenuity of the Irish people. Wake up, mother... You're a disgrace. Passing out? And cursing on St. Patrick's Day, there's nothing sacred. I feel I should be rewarded for going this long without swearing on live TV. The FCC disagrees, and they've decided to make an example of you and fine you personally $50,000. 50 grand? Can anyone cut this in half? Look at you. I told you, you're spreading yourself too thin. I only heard the thin part, Liz. Lemon is right, Jenna. Obviously, you can't do both TGS and Janie Jimplin. I choose the movie. My face is bigger on movies. No, I don't mean quit. I mean, Liz will find a way to make both work. Am I right, Lemon? Well, I'll have to use you less in the show. And I'll scale back the movie. We could cut the lesbian scene. But the Oscars love that kind of thing. There's two guys in my gym named Oscar. Jenna, you have got to start taking care of yourself. You're a wreck. I am fine, Liz. Jenna, that's a glue stick. Mm? You're going to the doctor. OK, great meeting. Jenna, something weird is going on. You mean this budget stuff? Don't worry about it, Tracy. It's just going to affect the non-specials. No, it's not that. Jenna, you're the smartest person I know. Do you think Kenneth could be a murderer? What? Why would you think that? Well, I might be crazy, but neither he nor his bird would let me into his bedroom. And why wouldn't you want to let Tracy Jordan into your bedroom unless you got a bunch of dead nurses in there? Well, I had to study serial killers to prepare for my role as criminal profiler Jill St. Ferrari in the Lifetime original miniseries, Hushed Rapings. And all mass murderers share three characteristics. Cruelty to animals. He grew up killing pigs. Bedwetting. No wonder he's fascinated when I do that. And an inability to read human facial cues. I admonished him for that earlier. Three for three, he's a monster. OK, we've got to go tell Jack. You know, if Kenneth is actually a killer, we're going to be heroes. OK, let's fake this candle. OK, Tracy, they are ready for your acceptance speech in three, two, one. Oh, people of Pacific Rim, how you feel? All right, I'd like to thank my wife, my two sons, Tracy Jr. and George Foreman, this Josh dude, <laughs> Liz Lemon, uh, bald-headed people setting up the satellite, and of course, a very special blonde lady. Shelly Long, you're truly an inspiration to me. I know that. <laughs> and finally, I'd like to thank you, Pacific Rimmers, for all that you've given us, a karaoke, karate, and most of all, Warazami attack shark attack. <laughs> 
So you got sharked. That's not great. I'm so humiliated. How could Tracy not thank me? What? I drag myself out of bed at four in the morning, go home, get dressed, come in here, and he doesn't even mention my name? He's coming! The plane is working! I bit my tongue! What a schmo, entering first. Now I'm the headliner and he's just the warm-up act. I'm Mr. Don Rickles and he's just me. But I don't have a birthday. You do now, cause we all love you and wanted you to feel this joy. I do feel it. You're all so amazing. And to think I was just calling y'all a bunch of racists. Oh. <laughs> Stop. Jenna Tyre. Friends. I am leaving TGS for Columbia Law School to pursue my dream of becoming a lawyer. This oh. Did you know that if you sing Happy Birthday on a TV show, you have to pay for it? I did not know that. Hey! My dad got us all seats for opening day at the new Yankee Stadium! <laughs> Ask me about my back brace. Make a wish, Mr. Jordan. Blow out the candles. No one asked me about my back brace. J Train, as you may know, I was in a film called Hard to Watch, and the pundits think I have a chance at an Oscar, and I just learned about air quotes. Yes. I talked about your movie with my therapist last week for 20 hours. I know this is difficult for you. I'm fine. Talking with Dr. Linda helped me realize I have just as much going on in my life. My exercise video is dropping soon. It's called Jenna Gets Hard. Well, if you're okay talking about it, I need your help. These reporters want to come do a story on me. They're from something called the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. Huffpa? That's the Golden Globes, the second most important awards in Hollywood, after the People's Choice Awards, where the fans are in charge. So what do you think I should do? You could have a special screening for them, host a luncheon, and when the time is right... Be bad at snapping. Got it. No, Tracy. You could try to bribe them. I mean, a Golden Globe is a stepping stone to an Oscar. How bad do you want it? I'm not an expert at morality, but isn't that wrong? You're asking me? <laughs> <laughs> oh. AK, where's Jonathan? Jonathan's not here anymore. How may I help you? Um, we need to see Jack. I don't know if I can allow that. I've made some mistakes lately, terrible mistakes. Uh-huh. So I need to know what this is about. I can't have you getting me into trouble. It's not about you. Yeah, it's about someone else. I'm afraid this guy I know in Canada might be a serial killer. And what is his name? Kenneth. I mean, I tell you his name. It's Kenneth. Excellent. I will be sure to let him know as soon as he's done firing Stephen Lee from microwaves. What? Oh, Mr. Lee, I forgot. He's ready for you now. I've got chills. He's evil. If I had any doubts about this before, and I don't think I did, they're going now. We gotta go to his apartment and save who we can. We're definitely gonna be heroes. Yeah, like Julia and Denzel in the Pelican Brief. Excuse me, what office should I put Miss Maroney's new rider in? What? No. Who said this guy gets an office? No. You let Jenna take off in the middle of the day? If she gets to do that, then I'm doing this week's show as my alter ego. Professor Cosmatol says. Ugh. Where is Jenna? Oh, I wish you felt better so you could help us figure out what Mr. Jordan's birthday wish could have been. What? Why? So we can make it come true and his birthday can go on and on. We've narrowed it down to own a Robocop, hunt that elephant that paints, or breakfast in bed. But it wasn't his birthday. It was my birthday. Oh, forget it. I'm tired of making you people try to care for me. You don't care for me, clearly. Nobody does. My birthday wish came true. 
What? I wish for you to get better. I was gonna wish for breakfast in bed with Robocop while our elephant paints us. We were close. But then I saw you with that back brace on right before I blew out my candles. It's a birthday miracle! Tracy, that's the kindest thing anyone's ever done for me. <laughs> now let's make Miss Maroney's birthday wish come true. Oh, that's so sweet. But who would I celebrate with if you all were in a car accident? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, why does he have a rolled up towel against the bottom of the door? It's so creepy. Jenna, I just want you to know that if we find any human remains in there, I'm gonna throw up all over your face. Oh no, get him some murderer and a riddler is coming. No, it's a bug bomb. Get out, get out, it's poisonous. <laughs> I'll go to jail in Deshaun's place, cause he's my brother. Don't say nothing. Sometimes you gotta do the right thing, even when the wrong thing is a whole lot easier. Now let's just have one last happy dinner together, as a family. Your mother exploded. <laughs> Got them right where I want them. Time to do a little Golden Globe shopping. No, Tracy, that movie gave me drunk in the bathtub face. We need to talk. Sabotage? But I'm the one who does that to me. I know, Tracy. It was wrong, but I couldn't go through with it because I saw your movie. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but you're great. Wait, great like good? Oh, great like the thing I dropped my asthma inhaler down the other day. The first one, Trey. You are going to win. And when you do, I'll be furious. Like waking up next to Rob Schneider furious. But I don't care. It's like you said in the movie. Sometimes you gotta do the right thing, even when the wrong thing would be a whole lot easier. No, don't say that. In real life, you have to make compromises. No, Liz Lemon. It's like the thing I said in another movie I made. Compromises are for lesser souls. Die, werewolf zombie. So you two have decided to do the right thing. Ah! <laughs>